I know you, don't I? Mr. Reed from the fish market had business with that harlot Anna. Why on earth are you here? Mr. Blackwood, guess I finally caught up to you. You are a follower of my work? Oh, sorry, Evernote. My heart belongs to another. Fred from the fish market said you could tell me where the professor is. I see. <laughs> he didn't mention that I was about to wage war on the EOD then. Harriet Doe. I know you were looking for her. Where is she? Why do you need to find her? She has a purpose. A purpose that must be fulfilled. A purpose that you have no part in. <laughs> I have questions that I need her to answer. Questions? You're like a dog digging for a Bone. You have no concept of the greater picture. The professor is the one. She is too important to be bothered by your questions. She is all that remains of the few. And listen to me. Herod must live. We are on the cusp of a great tragedy, and only she can avert it. She is one of the chosen, gifted with visions by divine providence. It is her fate to either save us or doom us all. I don't follow. You talk about tragedy and doom. What tragedy? What doom? From beneath the city. Oh, but I forget. You would know. The frescoes here... Show the truth. I lost days studying them long ago. I once served the sea myself, Mr. Reed, but I cannot do so any longer. They have to be stopped. Harriet is the key. Why don't you save us both a lot of time and trouble, and give me the short, snappy version? There is a cosmic cycle. At the end of each turn... I'm sorry. My time is too short. Please, find Harriet. You must make sure she lives. In that case, I suppose I better get a move on. Good luck, Mr. Reed. You must not fail. Great. That's just great. So she's here, is she? Well, I mean, we gotta find her and get her out. Don't know if I'm gonna be helping, you know, that guy with his cult, Evernote. It's a prison. I've seen these symbols before, but but where? First fresco since dark eons before the age of man. Uh, Sif Gunnar lies beneath the ground, and that eldritch prison rests the dreamer's hidden daughter, bound to never leave. So it seems like there's something else going on that I don't really know about or understand. Another piece of the puzzle. It looks like a wheel, something... something repeating, maybe. Like the seasons. Some kind of cycle. Second fresco, but there are those who would free the daughter if the dreamer's seed would only pass to her. Each turn of the cycle, those carrying the seed are drawn to the Sithi Gonar, driven by hideous visions. Uh, 
Oh, there's another one. A seal. I'm sure I've seen these symbols before. Where? Not too deep for me. Third fresco. The seal of City Gunner <clears throat> will open the way. Many will try and perish. When the stars are right and the dreamer stirs in his house, one will succeed. The daughter shall be freed, and from her swollen womb, the dreamer shall spawn once more. What does any of this actually even mean? Is that... what is that? Oh. Is this her? Professor Doe, are you alright? Alright? I, I am. Why not? Sorry, who are you? I'm Charles Reed, private detective. I've come here for some answers. Here, you'll find many answers. Everything is an answer here. And everything is in my hands now. Do you understand? There is a cycle. This has all happened before. She wants to be free, but she must not be or else it all ends. What is this about a cycle? It always begins with a great flood. Then the threat rises with the sea. The sea is all that divides our world from the one below. When the sea rises, the gates, the gates neither open nor closed, only waiting. What gates? Katiganar. The gates are not closed, the gates are not open, but they shall be one or the other by the cycle's end. What are you talking about? But the seal may close the gates and close them forevermore. Professor Doe, you're not making sense. We need to get out of here now. I can't leave with you. I need to be alone. Alone! You, you don't understand. I play a part in it all, but only the chosen few may do that. Those led by the visions. I have had them for so long. I... I have visions too. That's what brought me to Oakmont. And I guess what brings me to you now. Oh, but that has... that has to be... That has to be different. It, it has to be. I've been through so much. It has to be different. Uh, I don't understand. Th there can only be one of us. I need a moment to think it over. Okay. I will stay here with my seal. Uh, what's happening right now? I'm not finished here yet. Wait, oh. Am I supposed to I can make a big decision or something? What is even happening right now? So I found Blackwood in the Temple of Dagon. He come to free Harriet Dole as well. He told me about a prophecy. There's a great evil buried beneath the city, and the chosen few, driven by visions, may save the world or doom it. None of this makes sense, but he did say the frescoes inside the temple can tell me more. The visions lead the chosen to the city, to their destiny. They led me here too. Am I part of the prophecy? Don't know. Oh, so only one may survive or only one may remain? What's the difference? So the prophecy says there will be many chosen but only one saviour. Those that fail will die. Or the prophecy says there will be many chosen but only one saviour. The others will try and fail. I guess that one? Because that one, well this one, only one may survive, and then only one may remain. I mean, just reading those two bits just sounds like the same thing, but it's just said differently. But then when you read the other stuff, it seems, it seems like with this one, there's only one person, everyone else dies. Whereas this one, there is still one person, but the others that are there don't die, they just fail. Because that's what it says. Prophecy says there'll be many chosen, but only one saviour, the others will try and fail. And the prophecy says there will be many chosen, but only one saviour. Those that fail will die. Let's go with that one. 
Oh, what else is there? Recently, Harriet Doe has experienced horrifying visions. Could she be one of the chosen? So, Harriet Doe and I are both chosen, and if the prophecy is true, only one of us can succeed. But damn the risk, she has suffered enough already, I must save her. So what happens if I choose this one? Harriet Doe and I are both chosen, both of us are plagued by these nightmarish visions, both destined to seal the evil under the city, yet the prophecy says only one of us may live, too much is at stake to take any risk. I must kill Harriet. I don't think I'll kill her. Yeah, so I think I'll go that one. I must save her. I know what we should do. Yes. I will be the one who remains, or we need to leave. We need to get out of here. Uh, but my work isn't finished. My mission. Good luck finishing it if you're dead. We need to get out of here, Harriet. We just need to get to the surface. Fine. Fine. We go above ground, but we need to take the seal with us. The seal is the key to everything. Well, well, hopefully nothing bad happens. I think, I hope I made the right decision. What just happened? So deal with the devil. I woke up at the hospital to discover my old acquaintance, Johannes Vanderberg, staring me down. Uh, the seal of Cathagona is missing, and after what I learned in the Temple of Dagon, I cannot proceed without it. I need to find it. What happened? Did I make the wrong decision? Because I was like, Harriet, we need to leave, and then she's like, oh, we can't leave without that piece. So I go to touch it, and then he passes out and then that's when Blackwood comes along and then don't know what happens after that new case science is golden so now I'm in the hospital and Vanderberg is here deal with the devil something horrible has happened I must speak with you meet me at the Oakmont library please hurry I need your help desperately joy is that the librarian? What the fuck has happened? And also, what was with that vision that he had? Like it was something from the past? Like where he was back at the asylum in Boston or wherever it was he came from? What are you doing here, Johannes? You have quite a knack for asking the wrong questions, Mr. Reed. I'm here because I heard you were admitted. You don't seem the frail sort, so my interest was piqued. Last I remember, I was underwater. Consider yourself lucky. That's not the best place to be unconscious. I'd wager you'd had a drink too many were it not for the scratches. What exactly were you doing underwater? There was this ancient temple down there. It was... It was wrong, Johannes. A horror show. It's all right, I believe you. 
I won't ask you to relive it just yet. Please. What happened to Harriet Doe? Where is she? Ah, she's right here at the hospital. In the morgue. They fished her out of the calm shore marina earlier today. A pity. I always thought she was a strong swimmer. But how? I... I made sure she... Made sure? Mr. Reed, when confronted by the true horrors of this city, you couldn't even stay conscious. And now we are here. Right, so then I feel like if she's dead... So, basically, if I decided to kill her, I still would have passed out. If I decided to be like, oh, I'll be the one to stay behind... Maybe she would have survived if she left then, but maybe she still wouldn't want her to have leave without the seal. And I still would have touched him past her, I don't know. What happened to my things? I need to find them. Mr. Reed, do you take me for a hospital employee? I... Uh, I guess not. Apologies. Although, this wouldn't happen to be about a certain seal, would it? How do you know about it? Mr. Reed, there are plenty of things you do not yet know. Luckily, I want you to succeed. Perhaps it has been misplaced. You may wish to return to where you were found. If I were you, I'd inquire with the staff as to where that was. Johannes, be straight with me. How do you know about the seal? What can I say? Acquiring information is something of a hobby of mine. Wasn't that how you and I first met? In any event, when you've recovered the seal, come find me at my theater. I will have a plan of action ready. Here's the address. Farewell. Great. Well, I don't know. Johanna seems a bit suspicious. He seems a bit dodgy. Because how does he know about the seal? He's obviously got some ulterior motives. So the events between the Temple of Dagon and my awakening in the hospital elude me. I need to find out how I ended up here. Vanderberg suggesting asking the staff. Okay, Johannes Vanderberg gave me an address. I should visit after I get the seal back. Western Advent. Okay. Western Advent. Yeah, so it's right here. So it says Vinland Avenue, south of University. Yeah, so it's this place, because he said the theater. But before I go over, I want to see what this is about. So I need to go to the Oakmont Library. And let me speak to the hospital staff. I believe I was rescued by a stranger. Do you know who it was? Ah, oh, let's see. You're Reed, right? Huh. Well, that's funny. It was a regular of ours. A regular? Yeah, his name is Billy Drunnan. Well, let's just say he enjoys a drink a bit too much. Seen a lot of him these past few months. Barrel fever, huh? Uh, I tell you, his file is just about bursting at the seams. The things he comes out with in therapy. Uh, can I have my things back, please? Oh, of course. There you go. Is this all you have? I'm uh, missing a large, round object. I, I don't recall it. Sorry. At least you're leaving here with your life. <laughs> That's something. Bye. Be safe. We don't have any free beds left. <laughs> all right. Well, that's just great. So I was brought to the hospital by a man called Billy Drunnan. He apparently... He is apparently an alcoholic and has undergone therapy many times over the last few months. So, well, I guess I need to check the hospital archives. Yep. So he's a patient. Apparently an alcoholic. Therapy. Nothing about districts. 
Patient William Billy Dronin, 915, 1889, diagnosis, alcoholism, cirrhosis, unemployed, Seven Oaks Bar regular, taken to the hospital on multiple occasions due to near fatal intoxication. Well, how the hell did he come across me then? And who has the seal? Does anyone actually have it? What the fuck is going on? I should look for Billy Drunnen at the Seven Oaks Bar. Where is that again? Is it this place? Seven Oaks, yeah, that's where it is. Right here. Alright, before I do that... I'm going to go check out the library a second, because apparently someone needs my help. Don't know what with. And I'm going to go change my outfit as well. I think it's about time I change into something else. But I don't know if I made the right decision with, you know, Harriet. I'm not sure of, like... Whatever decision I chose, she was going to die either way. Because, of course, there was the one decision where it'd be like, oh, I have to kill you. And then he still, re still touches the dial thing and passes out. Blackwood comes along. I don't know. I need to go... Actually, I need to go back to the hospital. I've got to uh, check the morgue to see if Harriet's actually there. Because that's what Johanna said. She was in the morgue. Of the hospital. So I need to check. I forgot to do that before I left. Yes, yeah, so that's where the gangster outfit. Oh, what's this? Brutus Carpenter retires. Brutus Carpenter, head of the Carpenter Grand family, has announced his res resignation. Citing his old age and poor health, his son Graham has now taken the family business into his own hands. Actively engaging in charity, he was seen Tuesday handing out food and medications to anyone in need. If we won't lend a helping hand to the common folk, who will? Said the new patriarch. Graham Carpenter will also commemorate his appointment with a large donation to the Venerated Redemption Church. What a fucking idiot. Harriet Doe is Harriet Doe dead. And sad news for many at Oakmont University, beloved scientist Harriet Doe has passed away. The professor of archaeology was found washed up at Clamshaw Marina by a passerby. The Oakmont Chronicle would like to express our sincere condolences to anyone who knew and loved Harriet Doe. Oakmont will mourn the loss of a mind with few peers. See, reading that makes me question if I made the right choice making Graham the patriarch of the Carpenter family, considering he said he made a large donation to the Church of Redemption, which we know is like a cult fucking church. And then reading that th like other one about Harriet being, well, found washed up dead on like, the shore makes me wonder if I chose the correct decision to be like, we need to leave. Because I feel like if I chose the decision, oh, you leave, I stay... I feel like she either would have gone, no, I'm not leaving until, you know, we get the seal. Or she leaves, maybe survives, maybe still dies. And, you know, I still pass out. I feel like, I don't know. I'm not sure. All right, I need to check the morgue. Oh. Coroner's report, patient full name Harriet Doe, transferred to St. Mary's Hospital, cause of death drowning. Nurse professor's diving suit is ruined, must have depressurized at great depth. I suppose it's the risk any deep sea explorer takes. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Because Blackwood was like, oh, she needs to live. And like the last time I remember, she was fine. Blackwood was there. And then Reed passed out. And I feel like Blackwood didn't kill her because he said she needed to live. So I'm not sure how she managed to drown. 
So I don't know what the hell happened. Be safe. We don't have any free beds left. I don't know. Because I keep thinking in the moment I'm making the right decision. And then when I read these newspaper clippings or hearing what other people say about the decisions I made. Makes me wonder if I have made the right decision. I don't know. Right, so I need to go to the library. Because the librarian apparently needs my help. Like urgently. For some reason. It's just annoying because Harriet was supposed to live. But I feel like... Like, there was that one choice where it's like, oh, I kill her. The one where it's like, no, we both leave. And then the other one was like, you leave, I stay. Would she still died if I chose that one? I got your letter. So, you want her to see me, Joy? Don't tell or we die. Promise. Okay, okay. You have my word. Don't worry. Her in my apartment again. Don't know what to do. I'm scared. Help. What do you mean? Did someone break in? Were they threatening you? Yes. Her again. What did she want? Keep my mouth shut. You said it was a woman, right? Yes. Do you know her? Yes. Then who is she? What does she look like? Won't tell. Can't. Oh, come on. Just give me something. Anything I can work with. No. No words. Please. Don't worry. I'll help if I can. So, where do you live? Here's address. Take keys. Thank you. I got this, Joy. Everything will be all right. Be careful and keep silent. Bye, Joy. Yeah, bye, Joy. Shh. You fucking shush. How's she not going to tell me who this apparent woman is that's like threatening her or something? So, Miss Hayden told me there's been an incident at her apartment. She's now afraid to go home. Joy lives in a house just east from the corner of Library uh, Liberty Road and Hawking Lane, Western Shells. Hers is the first flat. It's Western Shells, huh? It said east from the corner of Liberty Road. It says Western Shells. So where's Liberty Road? Because I see Hawking Lane. Oh, there's Liberty Road. So east from the corner of Liberty Road and Hawking Lane, flat one. So like here, I think. Now I need to go to her flat and find out who this apparent woman is that's threatening her. Even though she won't tell me who this woman is. Talking about being quiet. And she's like scared. Like how do you expect me to help you, Joy? You tell me not to tell anyone. Who am I going to tell and why about this situation you're in? And yet you won't give me information that will help me fight, like help you out. Is this the right place? Yep, Joy's apartment. Alright, let's search the place. Is there anyone here? Maybe no one's here right now, but they keep coming back. And she said it was just a woman. No one else, just one woman. Uh, 
Maybe it's someone who's responsible for like stitching her mouth shut, but not completely. <sighs> the door won't budge. Right, let me check upstairs first. Oh shit. Oh, someone has real issues. Yeah. Don't see many uh, actual animals around. Finally see a dog and it's been disemboweled. There's a camera. Damn it. This thing is melted. Ah, there's no way we'll get any pictures out of this. That's great. Any other, like, other stuff on there? I don't know. Doesn't seem like it. And what's this? There's a what the fuck is that? Is that a teddy bear? But it's got like dog flesh on it. It's like stitched together. A message written in blood. Oakmont keeps its mouth shut, little girl. This is my second visit and the final warning. If you can't be silent, even when your mouth is sewn shut, I'll make a pair of shoes from your skin like I made a toy from your doggy. Stop talking too much. Silence is golden. Look at this shit. Christ almighty. Is that a dog's skin? Ah, oh, it's still wet. That's fucked up. Pretty sure that's not a good sign. No. Ugh, someone's a real pro with a needle. Jesus Christ. Cancelled. But she was good enough to put on a show. Guess life took a real turn for you, huh, Joy? Oh, well, she used to be like a singer or something. Joy won this in a singing contest? Wow, so she used to be a singer. But now, look at her. Cozy place for a favorite pet, huh? Now she's a librarian with a sewn mouth, like, sewn mouth. And she's got a KKK book. Why does she have that? Cross your heart and hope to fry? Why does she have a KKK book? Letter from Joy's parents. My dear Joy, we know how much music meant to you, but losing your voice is not the end of the world. It's painful to see that you cannot sing anymore, but maybe all this is for a greater good. No one knows what would have happened if you didn't stop gossiping. There is good news though. We found a nice job for you in a library. In a library, you can start when you're ready. Love, mum and dad. So she lost her voice? Did she hey, it's her! It's really her! Proof! Hope she doesn't hear me take the photo! What? Who the fuck is that guy? Click, click. A visitor. Who's there? Who the hell's this bitch? Come on! Come to Granny, puppy dear. A stitch comes out, a stitch goes in, a nip of flesh, a tuck of skin. Oh, you'll be such a lovely dolly. So, how did it play out? Right, well, I'm guessing this is the first one. This is the second one. This is the third one. Uh, just a full hey, point. it's her! It's really her! Proof! Hope she doesn't hear me take the photo! Okay, now I think I was right, it's just the last one. Come on! So it's this one. Hey, then it's this her! One. It's really her! Click, click. A visitor. Who's there? Someone visited Joy's place, killed her dog, and sewed it into this thing. A warning for her, I guess. And the neighbor just got in the way. That's just fucked up. Alright, is there anything... The door won't... Ah, locked. 
Maybe there's a key around here. Oh, it looks like I'm getting shown where the key is. It's probably in the basement, then, because that's the only place I haven't been yet. Yeah, it's in the basement. The door won't budge. Just in case there's any monsters. Is their neighbor dead or is he still here? Oh. That's the key. Whoa! Oh shit. Ouch. What the fuck? Sit the fuck down! Come on. Fuck you. Jesus Christ. Much better. Fucking hell. Okay, I think that was already a med kit and a uh, antipsychotics kit somewhere. I think there was a med kit in the basement. I knew there was going to be some bullshit, but why did it have to be that big ass one? And then loads of like wild beasts. Okay, is there anything else? Oh, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, interesting. Alright, I guess it's time to head back upstairs into the neighbor's room. I think the antipsychotics were in here, right? Yeah. There you go, that's mine. Alright, let's check out the neighbor's room. Oh, there he is. But how did he die if the door's locked? Someone's a big fan of fairy tales. The kind without a happily ever after. Hmm. The hell's this? A tattered diary. I can scarcely believe I live right next door to Joy Hazen herself. You know how much I do love her songs. Okay, just this morning I saw her, and it's true, her mouth really is sewn shut. The rumours about the end of her career were not just rumours. Granny Weaver truly silenced her. Granny Weaver? At last, I have a chance to see Granny Weaver with my own eyes, or maybe even take a photo. Hee hee. Why is that funny? If she doesn't appear to check up on Joy, I'll follow another clue and find where the witch lives. My hunch is that Arthur Cox discovered the whereabouts of Granny Weaver's lair, and his inquiries into Ergwant's peculiar history, he must have written about it somewhere. So this neighbour sounds like a fan of Joy. And also, this... Granny Weaver was the one who had Joy's mouth sewn shut, but why? No sign of any wounds, but he looks like he's seen the devil himself. Yeah, he's like. He doesn't look like. Yeah, there's like no wounds, and he's just got like a shock expression on his face, and he's like holding onto his chest, like as if he's had a heart attack or something. Okay, so... I need to go to the archives. What archives would I go for this one? Oakmont's history. So would that be the library? Or City Hall? Might be City Hall. I'll check the library first. If it's not that, then it's City Hall.
this is fucked up. So did Joy actually lose her voice or was it because of this granny weaver bitch who like came about for whatever reason, sewed her mouth shut and got her to stop singing? I don't know. Right. Check the library archive, see if it matches up with the evidence I have. If it does, then obviously it's the right place. Then I need to figure out what free things will connect to it and then get an address to where the witch lives, I think. There we go. It is the right place. Okay, so... Um, I can scarcely believe I live right store, next door to Joy Hayden. Songs. So I'm in the right place, but what... History. Um, don't think it is book information. Modern local? No. Other? No. Okay. Um, just this morning I saw her and it's true her mouth has really sudden shut. The rumours about the end of her career were not just rumours. Granny Weaver truly silenced her. At last I have a chance to see Granny Weaver with my own eyes or maybe even take a photo. If she doesn't appear... Well, if she doesn't appear to check up on Joy, I'll follow another clue and find where the witch lives. Um, Arthur Cox discovered the whereabouts of Granny Weaver's lair and inquires into Oakmont's peculiar history. He must have written about it somewhere. Written about it? So an author? And then modern? Local? Oh, there we go. The Legend of Granny Weaver. The legend of Granny Weaver grew from the story of Anne Osborne, one of the Salem witches who escaped to Oakmont, later becoming a weaver by trade. Her granddaughters asked to be told about witchcraft. Anne agreed, but swore them to secrecy. Is it Annie or Anne? Soon thereafter, two girls were found in the Oakmont sewers, dead with their mouths delicately sewn shut. Anne Osborne was never seen again. Many in Oakmont believe her spirit stalks those who expose the town's secrets. Legend holds Granny Weaver can be banished for up to 100 years, but she always comes back. Supposedly, Granny Weaver lived on Beacon Street between Windhave Ave and Century Ave, Western Old Grove. So now I have an address. Western Old Grove on Beacon Street between Windhalf Ave and Century Ave. So, somewhere here. Uh, I guess I can fast travel. Oh, no, not that way, that's right. I feel like with this game, when it comes to the decisions, I'm not sure if that it really is the best decision. I'm not sure if there is, like, a right or wrong decision. There's more so the decision where it's bad, and then there's the decision where it's worse. So you got a decision that's not as bad, but I feel like there's a decision which is still bad, but it's not that bad. And then there's one where it's like worse. So like either decision, like no matter whether you think it's right or wrong, or it's like the best option, like it will still be bad in some way. I don't know. That's how I feel like some of these decisions go. Like it doesn't matter which one you choose, they're always going to be bad in some way. Some worse than others, but even the other ones will still be somewhat bad in some way. 
and that house is tilted. So which house? Is it this house? No. It's gotta be one of these houses. Is it this house? No, it's not this one. Unless there's like a symbol or something on one of the houses. It's gotta be one of these houses. I'm on the right street. Oh, I think it's this one. It's got a lock on it. Yep, this is the right one. Found it. Oh, look at all this witchcraft looking shit. We're just like compact bunches of skulls hanging from the ceiling. What's that? Oh, you got a snake? Frogs? Another like lizard or something? Another snake? Oh, my senses are tingling. Oh, would you look at this? Ah, damn thing just bit me. What? Bit you? The fuck are you talking about? What? What? What do you mean it bit you? You're holding a knife. What the fuck are you talking about, Reed? Sit your ass down. Shut up. Sit your ass down. Bitch. What's Reed talking about? It bit him. It's a knife. What do you mean it bit you? What? How are you going to get bit by a knife? Ah, damn thing just bit me. What? What are you talking about? Um, Malus Maleficarum? Every witch has her own sign, which represents her contract with the devil. If you find that sign in her hair, you'll be able to make her appear in front of you, whatever she wants to, whether she wants to or not. You'll need two mirrors, place them opposite each other, so both the sign and its reflection can be seen in either. The witch will try to destroy you with her devilry. So wait a minute. Did Joy make a deal with a witch? So that she becomes like a, an amazing singer. And after it being like a certain amount of time, then it's like, oh, your mouth's going to get sewn shut now. Your dream catches as well. Look at all this. Like this pot, this cauldron full of random herbs and all sorts of witchcraft. Loads of potions, loads of like spices and all that stuff. Lots of like grinding pots, like potions and brews, all sorts of shit. Right, I'll check upstairs first. Oh, would you look at that? What a lovely picture. Right, is there anything going on up here? You got sewing machine. Is she here, this granny weaver? <laughs> the door won't budge. Alright, well, I'm not going to go in there just yet, then. Let me check this room. Or is that locked as well? <laughs> the door won't budge. Come on. There we go. Oh, would you look at that? More witchcraft shit. My senses are tingling. And this seems like a kid's room, and you got two dead kitty bodies on the beds. Huh. Not fully grown. Teenager, maybe. Uh, maybe a girl. Hard to tell. I think there is something about a skeleton that can, like, let you know, or if you know, you can, like, kind of figure out whether it was a boy or a girl. 
Like, as the skeletons are slightly different in some way, I think, compared to like a boy and a girl. Discolored Torn Diary. Today, our granny finally told us about her life before moving to Oakmont. Me and Evelyn had to put in quite the effort to convince her to talk about it. But it wasn't for nothing. Granny was a real witch. She lived so long and saw so much that it's just breathtaking. I can't wait to tell our friends about this. They will die of jealousy. Now I think they'll just die. And they probably did. Uh, not fully grown. Teenager, maybe. Uh, maybe a girl. Hard to tell. Happy birthday, Everline. This door is for you to keep all the secrets in your heart. Why would you ever want a granny like that? There's lots of dream catchers in this room. Alright, what's in this room? The door won't budge. I'll have to break open the lock on that one. Is there nothing else in this room? Okay, maybe we need to check downstairs. There's probably something in the basement. But to be honest, I mean, even though this is like a witch's house, it's a fairly well-kept house. You know, it's not dirty or anything. I mean, it is down here. Oh, would you look at this. Some ceremonial ritual shit down here. You've got feathers and all those dead crows from the ceiling. Of course there is. Another sewing machine. Oh, there's another downstairs. That one's still dripping blood, so that's fresh. That has to be fresh. It can't have been there for that long if it's still bleeding. What the fuck is this? Look at this! It's a proper fucking witch den. Got like a little pentagram thing, loads of herbs and shit and like different plants. Like a little grouped up like hanging of skulls. Looks like a shot took it out. Did someone summon the witch? Ah, uh, there's good art, bad art, and then stuff which makes your skin crawl. This ain't good. Looks like a shot took it out. Someone did that double mirror thing. Enough for a trench full of krauts. Yeah, someone did that ritual, that double mirror thing to summon the witch. Keep shooting! Kill her! Jack and Tane, kill her! Well, someone's been here. This one is heavy! Who dares call me? There we go! Let's figure out what happened here. Well, I'm guessing they put the mirrors down, summoned her, and then started shooting at her. There we go! Rock! Who dares? Keep shooting! Kill her! Jack and Tane, kill her! Granny Weaver. They called her up, used two mirrors to do it, then... Oh, looks like it got violent. Mm-hmm. Confrontation in the house.
Uh, two mirrors are used to summon Granny Weaver. Struggle ensued. That may be how they banished her spirit. I might be able to replicate the ceremony, but we need to find a couple of mirrors. There must be more in this accursed house. Wait, we're going to summon her ourselves? Why would we do this? We're going to summon that bitch? Can I not go in this? I can. So what's with the boards then? Why are we doing this? Why are we going to summon the witch? Oh, there's one mirror. And I need another one. Can't believe I'm... Like, we, we have to do this. We have to summon the witch. Why would you want to do this? This is dumb. There must be a mirror upstairs somewhere. We need two mirrors. I've gotten one, just need one more. There we go. Got two mirrors. I don't like this. Why do we have to do this? Summon the fucking witch! Large dusty mirror made by Gunter Randall. Large dusty mirror of a few small cracks made by Gunter Randall. Okay, looks like it's time. It's time to replicate the ceremony to summon Granny Weaver. Is this a good idea though? I don't know about this. I don't know if this is a wise decision. Oh shit! What the fuck? Why did we summon this bitch? Oh shit! Fuck you! What the fuck? Why am I still losing sanity? She had a mask on. And that was it. We summoned her just to kill her. What the fuck? Take medicine. There goes the bitch. Antipsychotics. Fuck me. Why did that happen? Summoned her just to kill her. I thought we were going to talk to her or something, but she was just immediately hostile. So what happens now? Do we tell Joy? So I found the old hag's lair and summoned her. I was set upon and the witch damned near killed me. In the end I managed to defeat her. She won't threaten Joy anymore and Oakmont is safe from her for at least the next 100 years. Well I mean yeah, I mean that's what we've read. Her and your eye gaining a chance to deal double damage. Yes. That was fucking mental. Summoning a witch in a witch's house to kill the witch. Imagine trying to do this shit in real life. Summon a witch to then just shoot the bitch in a witch's house. Like, fuck that. Why would you do that? Anyway, it's done. It's over. We summoned the hag. We killed the hag. Now I need to tell Joy the hag is dead. At least she won't be back for the next 100 years. Which is a long time. Now I need to fast travel back to the library and tell Joy the good news. The hag is dead. 